What was the most important question you felt he had to answer to you to get your vote? That's a good question. The first thing I said to Mr. Barr in our interview was that I wasn't going to ask him questions about political philosophy or opinion. I don't think that's relevant here. What I wanted to understand from him is what he believed his role would be as Attorney General. Did he believe that his role is to faithfully execute and implement the laws and prosecute when necessary? Or did he believe that his role was simply to adhere to the wishes of the executive branch? Uh, one of the things I've always been concerned about is the separation of powers in our government. Uh, as you know, I belong to the legislative branch and it is our duty to make the laws of the country. He would belong to the executive branch and it is their duty to implement and faithfully defend the laws of our country. And of course, it's the duty of the judicial branch to interpret and to decide matters or questions of law. When I asked him about his philosophy um, as the Attorney General in upholding, implementing, and defending the laws and constitution of our country, I was satisfied with his answer. So that is a very strict constructionist, I'm not sure if that's the right word, a view of advice and consent. We live in an era where you have a president who has demonstrated he views the Department of Justice as his personal lawyers and has had no problem interfering with its activities. We saw him bully Jeff Sessions, yes. his own pick for that job. How much did you consider that, take that into account, and whether William Barr would stand up to that? Well, you've asked the perfect question because that was one of my main concerns. I believe it is inappropriate for anyone in the White House, whether it be the president himself or his staff, to seek to influence the behavior of the Attorney General. And I asked Mr. Barr this question directly. His answer was not only, in my opinion, appropriate, it was refreshing. What was it? You know, he served as the Attorney General in a prior administration. And he said during that time, his job was to faithfully execute and implement the law and of course defend it um, from those who um, engage in infractions against the law. And he said he would do the same in this administration. That's important because that shows that you have an individual who is committed to the rule of law, not to the political persuasions or pressures that exist from either the executive or from Congress. Do you think he would resign if the president pushed him too far? I believe that he would resign if he felt he was asked to do something he believed was inappropriate as the Attorney General to do. How confident are you that President Trump will leave this Attorney General alone? I don't know. Given everything we've seen over the last two plus years, I don't there's know. There's plenty of evidence that he won't. I don't know, but I will tell you that I specifically talked to uh, the nominee, Mr. Barr, about this issue and wanted to ensure that he would faithfully implement the law and faithfully execute his duty, regardless of any attempts at political influence, whether it be from the executive branch or the legislative branch.